11 Live News at Noon starts now. And thank you so much for joining us on this Monday afternoon. I'm Jonathan Martin. It is time to bring out those solar eclipse glasses. Just hours from now, the sky will darken for millions of Americans in the path of totality during the total solar eclipse. Right now, you're taking a live look over Niagara Falls, where people are lining up to take a look at the great American solar eclipse. This will be the first total solar eclipse seen across the continental U.S. since 2017. Now, another live look. This is at the crowds in Indianapolis. A lot of people there, everyone gathering around to see this rare event. Although the peach date won't be in the path of totality, we will be able to see a partial eclipse. We have team coverage for you this afternoon. Grace King is live from Stone Mountain where people are gathering for a viewing party. But first, let's start with our chief meteorologist Chris Holcomb. He's out there at the Telus Science Museum in Cartersville. So Chris, a lot of people excited about today. How's it looking out there? It is looking great. You know, we were worried about that cloud forecast earlier, but the cloud forecast is improving. We are in the observatory right now, and you can see right now, you hear that hum in the background? That is the actual opening of the observatory right now at TELUS Science Museum in Cartersville. What's going to happen here? You see the window opening. We've got the telescope right here. This is going to aim at the sun so that we can get a great view of the partial solar eclipse that's going to be taking place here a little bit later on today in less than two hours. We expect a lot of people to be here at TELUS as well to observe this eclipse either from the observatory or from the grounds down below as well with their solar glasses. Now, I talked about the cloud forecast today. Take a look at the satellite and radar imagery. Things are looking better. We were thinking we would see uh, some clouds today. We do have some, but we do think we're going to have enough breaks in those clouds to allow us to get some great glimpses throughout the afternoon of the eclipse is going to be taking place. Here is the timing. It will begin at 1.45 this afternoon. Then the, sun, the moon will move and start partially blocking the sun at that time. Maximum eclipse is going to be taking place at 3.04, and then it will end at 4.21. And we're going to have coverage for you throughout the uh, afternoon here uh, at TELUS. And really, you can be looking at this anywhere in the metro area. You don't have to really be at any particular spot, but if you are going to be looking directly at the sun, you have to have eclipse glasses to protect your eyes from that. If you're just going out and about today, you may not even know the eclipse is going on. You can just go through your day normally, but if you're going to be looking directly at the sun, you have to wear those certified uh, protective lenses on your eyes to protect you from the radiation and those harmful rays from the sun. Now, a lot of people are gathering in different spots around the metro area. One of those is high up above on Stone Mountain. Grace King is live there now. Grace, are folks kind of uh, gathering and getting ready to, for the viewing there later on? Slowly but surely, the crowd here is starting to build on top of Stone Mountain. Park leaders tell me they're expecting a ton of people, but whether you're viewing the eclipse here or elsewhere, the most important thing is to protect your eyes. So if you have those solar eclipse glasses, that's great. You want to make sure they're not counterfeit and that they're in good condition. If they're crumpled up, scratched or bent like these ones, experts say they can let enough love light through that they'll damage your eyes. Now, if you don't have eclipse glasses, that's OK, too. Emory University physics professor Aaron Mills Bonning says there are other ways to still experience it safely. Where sunlight passes through leaves of trees and dapples on the ground, the small spaces between the leaves make little tiny pinhole projectors, and you can see dozens of images of the partial eclipse in the dappled light on the ground. Now we mentioned you want to be careful of counterfeit glasses. A couple things to look for. You want to see this ISO certification on your solar eclipse glasses, as well as who manufactured the glasses and where they were made. That way you can be sure that they are safe. They'll also have that mirrory front with that solid black back. And when you put them on, you won't be able to see anything except for the sun. And that's exactly what everyone will be doing here in just a couple of hours as this crowd continues to grow here. Live in Stone Mountain, Grace King, 11 Alive News.